Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to the video. So in this video, we're going to be going over my top three up and coming stocks for this coming week. We're also going to be going over last week's picks, how they performed, and my updated thesis on those. So without further ado, let's get to last week's picks. All right, so first off, I called out the cannabis sector as being the next hot sector. Now, this sector did not pan out this week. It has some solid volatility to trade off of, but it did turn into a sell the news event when we did get the vote. So my plan on this, I did take profits on some of these positions. I did cut loss on some of these positions. Some of my positions that I took profits on this week were SNDL and TLRY. Also, some of my losing positions from this space was CGC and ACB. So I'm still watching for more opportunities. I do think this will be a hot sector in the next month or so once again, but for now, I am out of these stocks and I'm watching from the sidelines for the next time that these stocks do get hot. So the next sector that I did call out last week was the psychedelic sector, the magic mushrooms. So some of these stocks had a huge week. Some of the ones that I were playing were MMEDF, LKYSF. They both had huge weeks and I am still swinging these and we'll keep on adding on dips as I do think this whole sector has a lot more room to run as it just gets more and more recognition and gets more and more hot. All right, so finally, we can take a look at some of the bounce back swing positions that we called out last week. First off, I called the breakout of ZNGA, Zynga. This broke above 825 and held. That means we had a breakout and we ran up the rest of the week and have closed the week right around 875. So a solid week, 7% gain. Next up, we had J&J, &J, Johnson & Johnson. We called this as an option play. These options that I got in were up one, over 100% when we got that breakout on Tuesday. I took profits on this position, but I still will be watching for opportunities as it does look like it could continue to run up. We're also watching for the bottom of Salesforce, ticker symbol CRM. We're watching for this to bottom out and ride the reversal up. We got the confirmed bottom on Tuesday going into Wednesday. So took a swing position on this bottom and I'm still swinging some options into this week as I do think this stock should run up to the 240 range pretty soon. Finally, we had Lending Tree, ticker symbol TREE. -E. This is the one that I cut losses on as it dropped below 250, but it does look like it's bottomed out right at the 235 range. So I am watching for continuation of this uptrend. And if it does hold, I will be looking to get back in for a swing position in Lending Tree, ticker symbol TREE. -E. All right, so those were a lot of stocks that we were playing last week. This week, I'm just gonna keep it simple, call out three different stocks, show the setups and my thesis on those. So without further ado, let's get into the first stock. So the first stock that I'll be playing this week is NEO, ticker symbol NIO. I'm sure we all know about the huge run NEO had all the way up to the $60 range. It has dropped since then. It had a huge dip this week, sitting right at $43 as of right now. And this is a stock that I expect to make a big move very, very soon. Now the stock is still trying to find a bottom. It's still cooling off after the huge run. But when we do get that confirmed reversal, I think this stock could run a quick 20, 30% in my personal opinion. So the first level that I'm looking at for it to hold is $40. We saw the big dip this week. It bounced right off $40, ran all the way up to around $45. Since then, it has cooled off and now it's sitting right around $43. So now it's sitting right at $43. Now if it is $40, that would be my loading zone as I expect a big balance off $40 once again, but also it could break out back above that $44 resistance line. If it does break out of there, I'll be taking position there as well. So I'm watching $40 and $44, $44 is a breakout and $40 is a place I'm looking for it to bounce off of. And this stock is now sitting with around a 34% short float. And that is why I expect the big move. There's gonna be a lot of people loading up on this stock once they see the confirmed reversal as this stock is just, as we know, NEO is one of the hottest stocks in the market. Now this week was a big selling week for NEO just because of all the fear with the Chinese stocks that delisting. Now, in my opinion, NEO has less than a 1% chance of actually being delisted. And if it was to get delisted, it would be in three years, not anytime soon. So in my opinion, fear is very overblown for these delisting of the Chinese stocks, especially NEO that has been audited. It was audited by the same people who audited Tesla, if you have looked into that. So NEO is more than safe in my opinion. NEO day is coming up at the beginning of January. NEO is gonna be announcing a new vehicle and there's gonna be a ton of hype leading up to that. So what I'm looking for a NEO to do is I'm looking for it to bottom out. And my plan on this is I'm looking into January 15th calls to play the run up up to NEO day, the huge reversal and the short squeeze that I expect to happen running up to January. Now we could see some more weakness short term, but when this does bottom out, I'm going to be loading up on the stock, loading up with some options and playing the big run up that I expect and the big short squeeze. All right. So the next stock that I'm playing this week is Splunk, ticker symbol SPLK. So this stock would beat down heavily on disappointing earnings but I do believe this was an overreaction and we do have a reversal on hand. It has been holding the $160 support. As of right now, it's sitting at $161 per share and it's on the reversal. The MACD, the RSI are curling up. It is showing a lot of signs of strength here. And I do think it could have a pretty easy run to $170 range, but a pretty big thing that is leading to a lot of investors starting positions in this 
and I believe could lead to more institutional funds. ARK Invest, as we know, they have some of the best funds. They were loading up on this stock after this big drop in every single one of their funds. You can take a look at this. On each one of their four funds, they bought shares in Splunk. So I believe that when people notice that ARK is buying this, it usually does bring more buying pressure and it does show faith in the company. Okay, this was just an overreaction dip. If a very smart fund like ARK is buying this, people, more people should come in. And I do think we get that easy run to the $170 range for a pretty quick swing. And this is a great long-term entry in my opinion, as Splunk is a huge growth company in the cloud and data space and should have some more growth in the future. Just after this disappointing earnings should not last in my personal opinion. So I'm playing the overreaction balance and the great value of this stock. All right, so the final stock I'm gonna be talking about in this video is Activision Blizzard, ticker symbol ATVI. So taking a look at this setup that we got here, it was trading within this trading channel for the past three to four months. But now, as we saw on Friday, it did have a breakout. Now, if we can hold this breakout, I think we could see a move up to the $90 range if it does hold. Now, the ideal scenario for this setup is if it does pull down after this pop, maybe a slight pull down, maybe a one to 2% pull down, maybe bouncing off that trend line once again, and then it can make its next move up. But it also could just keep picking off keep running up to that $90 range. There's a lot of catalysts going on with this stock with all the new gaming consoles coming out. Christmas season, as we know, there's a ton of video game sales then. And also just the gaming space in general has been very hot and has had great sales just from the virus, staying at home, everything like that. So Activision should have some impressive earnings. The technical setup is there and the catalysts are there for the stock to go on an extended run. So I do like this entry a lot. I did start a position on Friday as I saw the breakout happening and I will be looking to increase my position if it does hold this breakout. Now I will be cutting loss if it does drop back within the trading channel but I do think we do have a breakout here, but I would be looking for the first target of $83 and then a run up to around $90 or so. So those are my top three stocks for this up and coming week. Let me know your favorite stocks in the comments below for this upcoming week. And I also did make a video about the next SPAC that I'm buying if you wanna check that out. SPACs are very hot right now. That's also a top stock that I'm buying this week. So I'll link that right above. And if you guys are interested in joining the private stock group, that link is down below. Every time I buy and sell a stock, I send an alert. I answer any questions you have and everything like that. You can talk with the group members. So that link is down below. It should be the first link in the description. If you want to get four free stocks on Webull, five free dollars in Acorn Investing, ten free dollars in Coinbase, can't go wrong with free money. Those are affiliate links and those are down below as well. Those will help to support the channel. So I'd greatly appreciate that. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Good luck to everybody this week. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. It does help me out a lot. And thanks so much, guys. Let's get rich.